vlog fam. Happy Vlogmas Day 6. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. On my way into work, working at the shop today. The big shop, building the big shop, not the little shop. And uh, kids are doing homeschool. It's just a normal day for us. So here we go. kids what they were doing and I said don't go down that hill because that hill leads down to where the water is and they said we're just looking at the view <laughs> which is cute there they go and Forrest is waiting here watching them are you looking at the kids buddy yes you are he likes to look at the window here hi puppy <laughs> So it's nearly 4 o'clock and I didn't vlog today because we had such a productive school day and I was just going to roll with that and we really enjoyed that. And then the kids played outside in the snow. I scrubbed the tub and the shower and did some laundry and now i got to think about making dinner. I did a whole bunch of photo editing for a wedding that I need to edit so it was a productive day. So I think Chris and I are going to do a little Christmas tag tonight for our video instead but I just wanted to say hello. Hey, don't bite. Oh, is he biting you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're still teaching Boris not to bite. And yes, Ruby's here too. Yes, always puppies, all day long. <laughs> hey everyone, it's Vlogmas Day 6. Happy Vlogmas, everybody. I vlogged two clips this morning, I think. Did you, you vlog? Yeah, a few little. Yeah. So tonight, we're going to do a 12 questions of Christmas tag. So, because we thought that'd be fun, switch it up from the vlog. Switch it up. Yeah, and we got some other ideas for videos too, so maybe we'll do something. Comment else. below if you have other ideas that we can do, realistic ones. For Vlogmas. For Vlogmas. Yeah. 2017. <laughs> First question. Okay. Is that how it goes? Yeah. Okay. So I guess we just say the question and then we both answer it how. Okay. We would want. Sure. Okay. So the first question is your favorite holiday colors. Favorite holiday colors for me would be, um, I think, white. Really? And like... Like snow? Like snow and like white and, and ice blue. Wow. So yeah. you, you so must like, like Elsa. Icicles. Yeah, like Elsa. Wow. Yeah. Um, mine's totally different. Okay. I like... <laughs> Why not I'm like really that? excited to hear. Um, I like like um, the really dark evergreen, mm. like the like almost like our Miller like photography color. I love that. As color. well as gold. Oh. Whoa. If you look at our tree, we have a lot of gold on our trees because I like gold. Wow. It's pretty and shimmery. I like that. Yeah. So that's good. Second question: What is your biggest holiday pet peeve? Biggest <laughs> holiday pet peeve. Um, I'm not sure, but maybe, oh, I don't know, what's yours? Elf on the Shelf. Elf on the Shelf. <laughs> I don't like Elf on the Shelf. You can hate me if you want or give me a thumbs down for it. <laughs> uh, I like Elf on the Shelf. I just think Elf on the Shelf is creepy. What would and you name a your, lot of work if you had me. Elf on the Shelf, what would you name it? Creepy Eyes. <laughs> Watch you I would name it Dog My Dog. <laughs> um, I don't know what my biggest holiday pet peeve is. Probably just people that don't like the holiday. Bah humbug people? Bah humbug. Yeah. Yeah. True. True. Okay, next question. Do you plan ahead or procrastinate? Uh, both. We do both, actually. <laughs> yeah. Like, we do plan ahead and try and get, like, the bulk of everything like gifts and stuff prepared ahead of time but then there's always always last minute christmas eve we're wrapping the yeah. little stocking stuff first. but i'm way better at playing ahead than i used to be because i used to pick up stuff on christmas eve like that was like the one i would pick stuff up i'd yeah. find if everything was closed i'd find a gas station 
But I would remind you weeks in advance. I'd be like, you have to go get the kids' stocking stuffers. He yeah. usually used to go do it because I was home with the kids, and then he could do it sneakily. But you'd leave it till Christmas Eve. <laughs> yeah, I was always so busy at, and during the Christmas season. Number four is how old were you when you stopped believing in Santa? <gasps> I still believe in Santa. Chris does. Yeah. Chris still believes. He's legit. I cannot confirm nor deny what I think about Santa. Because <laughs> what? what if the kids watch this? <laughs> well, then they know what you're going to say. Yeah. No, <laughs> they don't know. I just, I, me and Santa, we're not, we don't love each other, we don't hate each other. You're not pals? No, you not never, necessarily. You don't write Santa Claus? I don't, let's just put it this way. I don't think Santa should get the credit for mommy and daddy's <laughs> ideas. Santa doesn't bring that much stuff. Yeah, that's true. Actually, not in our house anyway. In our family, he typically brings one thing for all three kids to share. And that's how it works. Something when, they can all do together. When I was growing up, we usually got one thing from Santa. Like each. Mm -hmm. Each kid got one thing from Santa, mm -hmm. I think. What about you? Yeah, growing up, we got one thing from Santa. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Still don't Old know how Saint I feel Nick. about him. <laughs> okay, number five. Favorite classic and new holiday? Uh huh. Maybe it's song. I think they just forgot to put the word song. Oh, don't know. Just say, what's your favorite Christmas song? Favorite Christmas song is I Saw Mommy Kissing Santa Claus. No, that's no. my least favorite. That's I'm why you said that. I'm just joking. <laughs> um, I don't know what my favorite Christmas song is. Silent Night. Oh, nice. Yeah. Um, I like, um, the Pentatonix version of Mary Did You Know. Oh, so good. And I also like the old classic, Jingle Bell, Jingle Bell, Jingle um, Bell Rock. I like the old, like, I downloaded an old school Christmas music thing. I like the old one. Cool. Okay, number six, your favorite Christmas tradition. Do you have traditions? I don't know if we have any like serious traditions. Yeah, I don't know if we have any like specific. Well, like, like we the do, Oh, I know tradition. one. I do Christmas baking every year. Yeah. That's a tradition, and the kids help sometimes, and my mom does it. Is it, it your favorite though? Yeah, I love baking. Or do you look forward? Do you look forward to it? Yes, I do, because <laughs> my nanny used to bake for us growing up, and now no one else in my family likes to bake but me, so mm. I have to do. Well, I Carry on appreciate tradition. that tradition very much. Yes. So, <laughs> and for me, if we had a tradition, I think it would be. I like that we get to go to Christmas Eve service. Yeah, I love that too. And I like that we spend Christmas as a family. Mm -hmm. Usually in the morning, just the just our family. So yeah. Kind yeah, of I love that too. Tradition. We should start now in this new house. We should start a new tradition this new year. Tradition. Something we do on Christmas Day. Give us an example of a tradition we should start. Yeah, we do a lot of the times have cinnamon buns Christmas morning too. That's kind of a yeah. tradition. There's a lot of like little things we do, but nothing's like like I said like this is our tradition. Yeah, we'll get there. We're yeah, we still, do. We're still young. We do a lot of things <laughs> though. Okay, number seven. This is a good one. Real or fake tree? Mmm. I first. am a real tree kind of guy. Did you ever have a real tree growing up? I, we did. How, how often? One time, my dad and I... One time? I don't think my sister was there, but I can't remember, but the snow was like... For me, it felt like five feet deep. It had to be. I don't know. And we drove somewhere in the bush and cut a tree down. Cool. One time we did that with, I did that with Ben. In, uh, yeah, Pot in our as well. house yeah, in New York. In New yeah. York. And a few times we had real trees when we first got married. Mm -hmm. And then um, Shelly doesn't like cleaning after the tree, up the, after the trees, all the needles. Well, and stuff. it's not just that. That is one thing. And what's the other thing? The kids love to decorate really early for Christmas. Like mm -hmm. they think if you decorate like even at half into December, that would be way too late. And you can't really do a real tree that early, or else it starts to die before Christmas. You can do it. And nobody wants a dead tree for Christmas. Mm, you can do it. Um, but I prefer, for sure, I would prefer a real tree, but oh. practicality, because the real tree smells am amazing, but for practicality, fake trees are the way to go. When this one dies, I want to get one of those flock trees that oh, have the snow on it. She's hoping it dies. 
I want it to die. It's actually already half dead. Mm, it looks fine. <laughs> okay, number eight. When do you put the tree up and take it down? That kind of ties into the other question. Um, it's, it's different, different every, every year. year. Sometimes we've done it like only a few weeks before Christmas and sometimes we've done it halfway in November. Yeah, but generally it comes down pretty quick. Yes, we yeah we generally put it up early December and I usually take it down pretty much right after Christmas. This year we're gonna wait a bit though. Yes, because we'll Christmas be. might be here. Family Christmas might be after Christmas. After this Christmas, year, so. like actually into January. Yeah. <laughs> Number nine, your favorite holiday cookie or treat? That's a good one too. Oh, favorite holiday cookie or treat? What's yours? I really love peanut butter balls. Oh. They're so good. And my aunt always made those growing up, my great aunt. But I also love shortbreads and I love ginger snaps. Yeah. <laughs> but I like to bake, so. Yeah, I, I like Christmas baking. So yeah. I can't really say which one specifically I like the most though. Well, not this weekend, anything but next weekend is Christmas sugar. baking day. Yeah. yeah. No, I don't like anything with lots of sugar. Just lots of sugar and icing and but basically, like a gingerbread house is just for fun, decorating. Like I don't yeah. actually want to eat it, I just want to look at it and decorate it. But if it tasted good and it was edible, that would be like the ultimate Christmas that would be. goodie. Okay, number 10. What's at the top of your tree? Can you see it in the frame? Um, I don't think you can see it. <laughs> it's a gold star. Yeah. And it's not in the shape of like a, like a shape star, it's in the shape of like the Jesus star, I feel. Oh. Don't you think? Jesus had a shape in specific shape of a star. Yes. Where you did know, you get that? Oh. From, from Sunday school. Oh. <laughs> I do like angels at the top of the tree though, but I've never been able to find a good angel. I'm a star guy. We grew up with a star at our house. We always had a, st a blinking star for many years that like changed colors and blinked. And then we had an angel after that. Oh. Number 11. Do you decorate outside of your house? Um... Generally, we do. We always do. And I still want to. And if I don't get it done this week, it won't. It probably won't happen. Like by this weekend. We haven't yet here. The thing is, where we used to live, it was a neighborhood, and everyone would decorate their houses. Where we are here, there's only we only have a few neighbors, and not many people will see it but us. <laughs> and our few neighbors. And our few neighbors, but we still want to do it for the kids' sake. Yeah. But, yeah. So we'll probably put up a few things. Like we have a star and a few other things that I can put up. So. To come in the vlog. Yeah. Last question, number 12, is what did you always wish for but never got? What? Oh, man. What did I always wish for but never got? I know there's probably something. I know what mine is. What? A puppy. Oh, you've got two puppies. But I mean like when I was, <laughs> when I was a kid. That's all I ever wanted oh. was a puppy. A dog. And now I have two. I cannot remember if I wished for anything unrealistic. You think a puppy is unrealistic? Uh, maybe for Christmas Day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Actually, both Ruby, Ruby, we got only a week before Christmas, so she was truly a Christmas pup. For us, was, he was November, but he's still kind of a Christmas. I remember pup. we used to get the Sears catalog, the what was it called the Wish Book. Yeah. And I used to circle. Pretty much the whole catalog. So <laughs> there was a lot of things I wished for, but and never got. But that was completely unrealistic to have the entire catalog. Yeah, so, that's true. Yeah, my parents always did really well at Christmas. They're very generous, and we always got like one significant gift that we wanted. So my birthday's also four days after Christmas. So that was also hard. That's kind of sucks. Yeah. Ben's birthday is a couple days before Christmas, and Chris's birthday is a couple days after Christmas. My birthday's coming. So not well, only do I, birthday. <laughs> not only do I have to plan for Christmas, I have to plan for two birthdays every December, right around it too. So yeah. Sadly, your birthday always kind of gets forgotten. Forgotten. <laughs> not really though. Mm. Mm. Sometimes you do something. We'll see. Maybe you'll have big Everybody, parties. comment below. Tell, give Shelly some ideas for my birthday. No. <laughs> I don't need ideas. Oh, please. Just kidding. Yeah, that's it. So that was the 12 questions of Christmas. I guess they were like spinning it off of the 12 days of Christmas. I don't think so. I don't know. I think yeah, it was. Not even close. But should we tag anyone else to do it? Oh, sure. Yeah. Who do you suggest? Well, 
anyone watching this should do it. So yeah, do, do it and do it. hashtag us. Yeah, do it and hashtag us. Live Love Lake. And then we should always ask our friends Danny and Siobhan from oh, yeah. Australia because we love and them. Siobhan. They just got married. Congrats, guys. Congrats. And then who else should we ask? Maybe we should ask um, the Hickman. Sure. Megan and Justin Hickman from Love Meg. She has over 200K subscribers now. She wow. just posted that today, so congratulations. Okie Dinah. Yeah. So anyway, that was the 12 days of Christmas. Awesome. Terry. Happy Vlogmas Day 6, everyone. Mm -hmm. We'll see you tomorrow. Day 7. We're almost in the double digits. Day 7. And, and I haven't given up yet. And happy birthday to my mom. Yes. Nanny Summers. Happy birthday, Nanny. It's her birthday tomorrow when this video will be up. So, happy birthday. And yes, we have a birthday every week in December. My dad's birthday is next week. Yes. Yeah. My mom's <laughs> birthday is this week. My dad's birthday is next week. Ben's birthday is the week after. Then my birthday. Yes. Yeah. And then Jesus. No, this is before. Oh, yeah, Jesus yeah. is before you. Anyways, all right. Thanks for watching, everybody. See you tomorrow. Peace. Peace out. Out.